Oof! Hey! Watch where you're going! Don't you know who I am? Oh! Uh, you do? Uh, no you don't. I doubt it. I'm somebody else, I promise. Forget about it. I said forget about it. Why are you not forgetting about it? I can practically feel your brain not forgetting about it. <sighs> oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I should have just ripped the bandage clean off. But no, Chelsea Grace can't commit to anything. Chelsea Grace should have just kept her nose clean and her eyes on the horizon. Chelsea Grace should have just waited till college. Ugh. Say, aren't you that little Weasley kid who sits all by their lonesome at lunch? The one who doesn't really have any friends? A little sad? Listen very carefully. I am going to tell you the truth. The whole truth about all this. This is something that not even my closest friends know about me. And if anybody so much as hears a whisper about this, a rumor, I'll see to it that you're drinking through a straw into the next year! Oh. Is it eating through a straw? Well, that's silly. Why would you be eating through a straw? Unless you're eating soup. Why would you be eating soup if you're... Oh. Well, I'll see to it that you're eating through a straw into the next year! Ha-ha! <laughs> to be honest, I was kind of hoping to run into you in the first place. I know it sounds silly, but... <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. Uh, you're familiar with... Gasta, right? If you're not, I can explain it to you. You know, vampires, and witches, and black, and death, and misery, and all that stuff, you know? Is that a good enough explanation? Well, I've always really liked it. I mean, really liked it. It's always been so cool to me. But, you know how it is. When your friends go pop, you don't exactly get to go punk unless you want to lose them, so, uh, you go pink! That's a funny little joke for ya. I've been wanting to get actually go goth for a while now. I mean, real goth, not like this weird Jackal Cyrus Hyde Montana thing I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. But I can't just go goth, you know? I'm pretty. Wait, that sounded bad. I mean, have you seen goth girls? They're also super pretty. But like, a different kind of pretty. Kind of scary kind of pretty. You know? The kind of pretty that makes people nervous. I can't make anyone nervous. What I meant was that I'm known for being pretty and I'm popular because of it. Goth girls get like... More dimension. There are allowed to be other things, like deep, and moody, and sorrowful. But I feel like I'm only allowed to be pretty, instead of other things. If I went goth now, after so long spent as chirpy, cheery, happy Chelsea, it would be suicide. Socially, I, I mean. I mean, my friends would abandon me. Other people would treat me like a freak. The teachers and faculty might be half convinced that I actually might be depressed or suicidal, which I don't want to knock either. It's rough, and I don't want to take away valuable time and resources from somebody who is actually sad and not me who's just... Sad cosplaying, I suppose? I mean, I get it, I suppose. I get the idea... I get where the idea could come from that somebody who wears clothes traditionally associated with mourning and death could be labeled as sad. As is going out of your way to label yourself as a freak, a geek, an outcast, but I don't really see it that way. If anything, being goth isn't about being sad and mopey about life and death and whatnot, but it should be a celebration of both. 
We shouldn't be scared of about dying, the same way that we shouldn't be afraid of life. Both are scary, and we never really know what happens next with either of them, but that's what keeps them so fun and interesting. At least that's my take on it. I don't think anybody actually really agrees with me. Which is actually kind of why I was hoping to bump into you. I'm sorry I called you a weasley little loner earlier, but when you don't really know anybody's name all that well, well, <laughs> you get a trait. Like sad eyes, or pony boy, or girl who barfed in my oven. Why would you do that? You absolute squirrel. You know, it's just, it's really that simple. And I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but I'm gonna need you to use that. I was hoping you could teach me how to be miserable, or at the very least, more cynical. I think that's what I'm going for. If anybody who knew me, I mean, really knew me, saw me like this, all happy and bouncy and perky, they'd know in a second. And then where would I be? But if I acted differently, more sleepy and sad and indifferent to the world around me, then maybe they wouldn't know. And I could navigate this world so much more easily than I do now. I wouldn't care if greasy little nobodies with good brown structure bumped into me then, because I'd also be a greasy little nobody with good brown structure. And we could both coexist as two peas and two disparate but not dissimilar pods. <sighs> I don't think the world is a bad place. I really, really don't. For every bad thing that happens, I see so much compassion and... and so much kindness in the strangest of places. If the world is really such a bad, terrible, dark place, then why do dandelions grow in sidewalk cracks? Do you know? If I want to do this, if I want to engage in my celebration of all things macabre and spooky and whatnot, then I have to find a way to make it a solemn soiree. If I can find it in me to hold such a celebration at all. That is the true goth mindset. And I really think that you could help me with that. So please, please could you help me? Could you? Could you please? <laughs>